video series part one is about signs and messages received leading up to the event. Part two is putting more pieces of the puzzle together. And part three is me driving to the area and giving my impressions. And I might add more as I go along. Hi, this is Natalia Corner. I am a psychic medium who lives in Melbourne, Australia. But I do give readings worldwide uh, through Skype. I'm sensitive to energy and can often feel world events and receive pieces of psychic information. I often see signs and get impressions um, that I'm also just a regular person just like anybody else. I'm a school mum and happen to live here in Melbourne where a plane recently crashed into a shopping centre near Essendon Airport where the plane took off from. It was a light plane, a Beechcraft King Air B200. I want to preface by saying I'm making this video series, series with the fullest respect for the plane crash victims and their families. My heart and prayers go out to them all. I just felt compelled, uh, like there was something in me, like an urge you could say to make these videos as a way to visually and verbally record my impressions to get it out there and to show you what it's like to be an intuitively aware person. It's like being a psychic detective where you're trying to thread together pieces of information, impressions, gut feelings, vibes, signs, images, both in your mind's eye and out there in the real world. And it's like you're putting together these random puzzle pieces that form a kind of mysterious tapestry or kaleidoscope of parts we're not always showing the full picture. So as I take you on this video journey, I want to show you also to trust in your own impressions, vibes and signs that you receive. When you are psychic or an aware person, you literally are open to a whole other world and certain things just become illuminated and pop out. On the day of the plane crash, um, I later on that day on the news, when they obviously you know it's close to home so it's in your town so you feel things extra but um when i watched one of the news bulletins about it um there was something about it initially you just think okay it's just a regular you know um a plane crash that happened but um when they read out the names of the pass the four passengers so um there were four american tourists on board as well as the pilot who all passed away from the accident um there was something about the names and their jobs or their um company backgrounds that actually popped out to me and that's where it all started for me on a psychic level so in, initially they were so the, what they were saying on the news was that there were four american tourists on a, the you know trip of their lifetime on a golfing holiday um, and they were all, you know, the retirement age. Um, but I just, something just about their jobs caught my attention, okay? Even though they were painted to be these retiree golfers and, you know, perhaps that's exactly what they were, absolutely, but there was something more to it, I thought. It sounded suspicious to me that there was, um, amongst these passengers, there was a former FBI agent, a lawyer, and a gas consultant and when i heard the gas consultant there's my the hair stood up on my um on my you know arms and body i got chills i got a massive chill basically um and the, there was a particular passenger named glenn garland who i felt particular chills with as well but also just with the passengers in general um and um, and that's where it all started. I was like, okay, something's going on here. I'm suspicious about um, about this, their backgrounds, the gas consultant thing really popped out to me. Um, and that's where it all started. So from that point, I decided to look up the um, passenger names. So Glenn Garland, the one that was popping out to me psychically, um, I found out was the former CEO. He co-founded the uh, Austin-based company called Clear Result Consulting, which is an energy efficiency consulting firm. And that's the one I got that chill with. Now, energy. Um, there's so much about this that pops out to me. Obviously, the whole um, world is, you know, has war and politics about, you know, energy, gas, electricity, 
oil, you know, all these things. So that's just something that stands out to me and I trust my feelings. Um, and there's a lot of money in these industries. So it, it said on the net that he was a visionary, an inspirational leader, and he had a unique vision for the energy efficiency industry, a unique vision. And I just, as I say that, I feel at once like vibes about that, like, um, you know, goosies, but at the same time, my stomach is clenched. Um, now there was another um, person on board who was a lawyer and then that started, things started to pop out about him, okay? So as I researched him, and then truthfully, I felt like I was the only person in the world that was questioning this. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, is anyone else, you know, picking up vibes about this? You know, why is it just going to go down as just a regular news bulletin of some American tourists who unfortunately had a holiday crash? You know, I felt, felt that there was more to it. So Russell Munch... I found out that, because uh, I knew, I, I smelt a rat, I don't know, something about it, but anyway. Um, so he was the founding partner of a law firm called Munch Hart, Kopf and Haar, and he litigated some of the most prominent cases. He worked on high profile bankruptcy cases, including a really famous one um, uh, about Enron Corporation. Now that stood out to me too. And it wasn't until after that I found out more about Enron. Okay, now there's a whole conspiracy and I didn't know this, um, you know, at the time when this plane crashed and, you know, when I first read it, I didn't know this, but I just felt a vibe about it. So then I looked into what is Enron Corporation and it's a natural gas and electricity company, a huge one. Anyway, there was a big scandal about it, um, but you know, you can look that up for yourself. So I believe there is more to this. Um, okay, one of the largest energy companies in the world before it collapsed. And I just feel so much energy around its collapse too. I feel that there's conspiracy around it. And as I say it, my whole chest and throat is clamping in in my stomach. Okay, um, there's also just something in the eyes of this person. So um, it's not only that, he dealt with a lot of bankruptcy cases and so on, high profile clients, including Northwest Airlines. Isn't that funny? Airlines, an airline company. Um, other financial corporations, but one that stood out to me was an oil tycoon named Nelson Bunker Hunt. And when I saw his, so then I went and Googled his picture. When I saw his photo, I just got the most, the biggest vibes that, well, I just felt an evil energy, to be honest. So negative energy around this person. You can see for yourself through the photo. Um, and as I say it now, my stomach is clenching. Um, and he was also involved heavily in politics and so on. So there's a lot of politics also um, just surrounding the whole Enron thing. And I just feel like there's so much more to this case. Keep in mind also that one of the other passengers, Greg DeHaven, was a former FBI agent. Now, doesn't that stand out to you? It wasn't until about a week and a half after the event when it occurred to me that some of the things I had said and symbols I was paying attention to in a video I published three weeks before the crash, which was one of my um, monthly videos where I just um, give psychic um, guidance, angelic messages and the vibes and energy for the month in advance. Um, but certain things resonated. So what I'm going to do now is quote some of those things I said so as to form a kind of foundation and backdrop to my later impressions. So I'd said, I don't know why, but America keeps popping up and to also keep an eye on terrorist activity and things like that. When I say that now too, I just feel the energy around it, my stomach's clenching. Um, now, of course, that can mean a lot of things. So I don't always mention things about politics and countries and things. I mean, I have mentioned before about I felt like, you know, there was going to be an incident with the plane going down, things like that. I felt those things before and, and on occasion I will mention them. Um, and as I was saying it, my teeth were grit and my stomach was clenching. And that's how I'm feeling right now, which is really interesting. I'd also explained this was a form of negative energy. Um, and it just, I had a general feeling of dis-ease globally. I, um, obviously, you know, things work in mysterious ways and I would never have put that forth as being um, linked to American tourists in my own homeland and, and city of Melbourne, Australia. Um, but there you go, I made the, drew, drew the link later on, but I think I was also referring to other events in America and with the politics and so on. 
Um, I also said um, you're going to pick up on frequencies and there's an interference because there's a darker energy who want to interfere with us personally and collectively. Now that's going on all the time. I was just feeling it extra for February. Um, and I felt that humanity was under attack. Now, um, and that there's factions and factors that go into it. Um, and facts to check your facts and look deeply into the facts and I even said you'll hear different conspiracy theories and a lot of them hold truth and a lot of a lot of them also are nonsensical but find the ones that feel true to you and and you know like look at the facts that feel true to you look right deeply into the facts um, if you look deep enough the facts are there because humanity is being fooled and controlled is what I said um, and that's really interesting because um, obviously that can apply to a lot of things that we are going through um, but I could also apply it to this case as well um, I had also mentioned um, so I had looked at an oracle card and I was immediately drawn now this is an example of when you deal with oracle cards you can see the same card a million times but you might never see this one little corner or aspect it happens a lot to um, us psychics or people that use the cards now um, I was drawn to that bottom right hand corner and I'd never ever noticed it before and I said that um, I felt that it looked like a burned eagle a skeleton burned out in cinders um, and then I also referenced the eagle as a and I also I was reluctant to say it but then I felt okay I'm going to say it as a masonic symbol or a negative symbol um, in this case um, obviously, it always has a po eagles have a positive um, symbol, such as flight and freedom. Now you think of eagles um, in association with America, um, but also with airplanes. You know, the eagle has landed and so on. Um, so I feel that there's a link there. But then later, I also saw um, the word eagle as a sign um, when I happened to look at a newspaper when I was I was just waiting for my order of fish and chips, and I looked at a old uh, at a newspaper dated about a week before in February after the plane crash. So it had an article about Greg Garland and what stood out to me is he was um he had i don't know posted on social media um not long before the accident that his wife had done a um i don't know the golf terms but anyway he mentioned a eagle a hole in one or something or an eagle anyway the word eagle um popped out to me obviously and at the time i thought eagle eagle it's something about it it's a sign it's a you know it's just, for me it was like a psychic sign i didn't put it together until after that i'd um mentioned the eagle and the burnt out eagle as like a skeleton a burnt out skeleton which is like the burnt out carcass of the airplane um later um and that it pretty much looked that way um so that really because it was in cinders and and now it completely had made sense because I had said um, um, in my February video I made a reference to the USA in the eagle symbol and I, I said a negative burned out eagle um, the negative side of the eagle is burning and disintegrating um, and so on I'd also mentioned about um, certain people and energies in the world that are pulling the puppet strings and um, there's like the shadow, there's a shadow behind the government also mentioned a Clinton connection. Adding to the reference to the American Eagle, the plane was actually founded in Texas. Funnily, all the passengers or most of them were from Texas and their related former companies. And if you look at the plane that crashed, it's also got similar kind of look and colors of blue, white and red. And in the picture of Glenn Garland and his energy firm, notice the colors as well, the red and blue and the star. I also saw in the crash history of the plane that crashed on February 21st, 1980, February 21 is exactly the same date as this crash just 37 years ago. 3 plus 7 is 11 numerologically, which is known to be a number of these kinds of disasters, such as 9-11. Um, it crashed at Sydney Airport, killing 13 people. 13 is another number. It was also dubbed one of the worst aviation accidents at that time. And there are other notable crashes in, its, in the history of this plane, including a president and an entire US basketball team. I'd also said in my previous February guidance video to trust any signs, visions, images, synchronicities, insights you receive as they're there for a reason, which now makes sense. 